What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dr. J. Killer. And today I want to talk about some that a question that is coming up. Is Matt Stafford now a Hall of Famer since winning a Super Bowl? Now, we would have to break this down because if just winning a Super Bowl gets you into the Hall of Fame, that's not a good benchmark. That would mean that Joe Flacco, Russell Wilson, Nick Foles, and even Patrick Mahomes as of right now are all Hall of Famers. I don't think any of them are. So we need to break this down. And the way I typically do it is how are you performing seasons before your Super Bowl, the season of your Super Bowl, and after your Super Bowl? How consistent were you? Who are the teams you were beating? And so on and so on and so on. You know, what were the numbers you were putting up? So I think context definitely matters. Joe Flacco, let's not forget, is a Super Bowl MVP. But I think if we look at that more, we see the teams that he had to win the Super Bowl was amazing. And before the Super Bowl, he was not performing well. And after, he was performing terrible. As of right now, he is a backup on the New York Jets. Yes, a Super Bowl MVP is a backup on the Jets. Now, let's look at Russell Wilson. We don't really have too much info on what he was doing before because he won his second year in the league. He did okay. And then the very next year, he was back in the Super Bowl. But guess what? He choked. He choked in the Super Bowl. And to me, if he would have won that ring and put up the numbers he's putting up now, I would have had him as a first battle, first ballot Hall of Famer. As of right now, I don't. And the reason I look at this is... We see the numbers he's putting up, and they're good numbers, but it's because he has to put up these numbers to make his team competitive. So if you look at the years that he had a great team, they weren't asking him to do a whole lot. Now they are, and we see you know, the great numbers, but we see the shortcomings in the postseason. Nick Foles. Now, if you think Nick Foles deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, You don't know football. He performed fantastic in his Super Bowl victory against Tom Brady. It was a shootout. He was matching him. Let's let's set that straight right now. But what was he doing before the Super Bowl? Well, he was a starter for a little bit. Then he became a backup. And then when Carson Wentz got injured, then he took over. So in the postseason and in the Super Bowl, he performed great. What has he been doing since after the Super Bowl? I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, a couple of exceptions. Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers, I think are first ballot Hall of Famers. They always give their team a chance to win. 100% they give their team a chance to win. You want them on your team. Now, they also always put up amazing numbers. Aaron Rodgers is coming off another MVP performance. Drew Brees can throw for... 4,500 yards, what seems effortless. You know, these guys are fantastic. So I think these guys would be the exceptions. You can make a case, really, for either one that they could be a top five quarterback of all time. Now I get to Matt Stafford. As of right now, Matt Stafford is 12th all time for passing yards and passing touchdowns. To me, he's never really had great seasons. He's has good because... In Detroit, they're a terrible franchise. So I take that into consideration. But the numbers he's put up, when you compare them against the other quarterbacks at the time, they just weren't too good. So it's really, really hard for me to see him getting into the Hall of Fame. I don't think he should. I I really don't. Unless he can crack maybe the top five on touchdowns or yards, then serious consideration. But as of right now, I don't think so. That's my take, guys. What do you guys think? Is Matt Stafford a Hall of Famer? Why or why not? You know, what other players do you think belong in the Hall of Fame? What's your criteria for a Hall of Fame quarterback? Sound off in the comment section. Peace.